Hello YouTube, here today I'm going to talk a little bit about steel chainsaws. I've currently owned four chainsaws in my life. Uh, I'll tell you this, I've had a uh, Pull and Pro older model. It was okay, didn't start real well, but you know, it had a little bit of power, but nothing great. I had two steels prior to buying this MS-291, which is similar to I think what the, the Farmer Ranch series is, same kind of saw. Um, saw I had before I had an 026 steel and an 034 steel. I don't burn wood. I never did. Never really have. I don't plan on it. So I don't need a saw where I'm going out and cutting a lot of stuff. Uh, me keeping two chainsaws around like I did with the 026 and the 034 is a waste. So all I got done doing was replacing carburetor kits and both. So I decided to you know get rid of them and I purchased me one new saw you know that I felt was a better fit for me. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about the Steel the MS-291, the Farm and Ranch series. It's got an 18 inch bar on it. Um, starts really easy. As you can see the new and design caps, uh, oil here, fuel here. It uh, So far I've cut a little bit with it. It has a lot of power. It's, it's not as powerful as my old A34 was, but it's almost as powerful as my it, it's it's definitely more powerful than the O26. Uh, a lot of people say that it's similar to what the uh, steel O29 once was. Uh, right here's your carb adjustments, high and low, and idle adjustment. I have not ever had to uh, mess with that. Um, I deal primarily with two steel dealers, usually in Ohio. Uh, I get pretty good deals, or you know, able to work with them pretty well. Uh, you know, I, I am a steel fan. All the way, uh, you know, there's a lot of good saws out there on the market. I know people that run Husqvarna's and have good luck with them, but you know, I try to stay all steel for everything I have. But uh, other than that, I'll conclude here. The steel MS 291. I'm gonna rate it as a good saw.